Yeah, Joel and Gold Raleigh says they're hoping to return to full service by January and the routes they selected were the ones with the lowest ridership. So although this may require some more patience from riders, the buses won't be as crowded and Gold Raleigh's actively looking for more drivers, hosting job fairs and increasing pay. For Raleigh resident Orenthal Woodard, getting to work on time takes patience. It's been real hectic for me because sometimes I get to work late and I don't like to be late for work. And it'll require more patience in September when Woodard may have to wait up to an hour to catch the bus. Go Raleigh running some buses less frequently, including the 36, which Woodard depends on to get to work. I think um, they should hire more drivers. I mean, we pay the tax money for them to hire the drivers, so I don't understand why they have a shortage. Go Raleigh's target is to get up to 215 drivers. Their efforts to recruit 30 more. Go Raleigh recently increased their starting driver wages by a little bit over $2 an hour. So bus operators now will make $19 per hour to start. Uh, they also have started offering CDL training, that's commercial driver's license. But for the person trying to get to work. Should be more prompt, should be more considerate as the people who ride the bus you know, to make it better for them to get back and forth to where they need to go. Hoping their strategy with low ridership routes is temporary. We're just reducing frequencies on those those 12 routes that are listed. Um, and we looked at the ridership to make sure that, you know, we didn't overcrowd buses uh, when we made those reductions. Go Raleigh aims to catch up by next year. We definitely are, are putting this out as a temporary effort to give us time to get called up, get some some new employees, you know, behind the wheel. Go Raleigh had a job fair recently where they say they had at least eight candidates, which Walker says is a good start, but they're keeping their fingers crossed, hoping this pay increase will make a difference. Reporting in Raleigh, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Joel.